In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a 3D component from an existing HFSS model and to add it to a target design. In HFSS, you can create 3D components and integrate them into large assemblies. This modeling approach is especially useful when the systems become increasingly complex. Simulation-ready 3D components are created and stored in libraries that can be added to large system designs without the need to apply excitations, boundary conditions, and material properties, since these simulation properties are already encapsulated into the 3D component. Consider the HFSS model of an end-launch coaxial connector that will be encapsulated into a 3D component and added to a printed circuit board. The printed circuit board is a low-noise amplifier. The connector has a terminal wave port excitation. Select the entire object. Right-click and select Create 3D Component. In the Create 3D Component dialog, the Info tab is populated with the default component name, its owner, and other details. These fields are editable. You can enter notes as needed. You can also type in the company name. If you want to display your company logo when the component is used, select the Display Image checkbox and browse to the logo's location to include it. All properties of the connector will be encapsulated in the component. The properties on the various tabs cannot be modified directly in the target design. However, you can define parameters in the component. The user of the component can modify these parameters in the target design. The Image tab shows the preview that the user will see when selecting the component. 3D components also come with optional encryption and password protection, features that allow you to control their access and use. Select the Encrypt File option to assign a password. You can store the component in any location, including in one of the standard library locations, UserLib or PersonalLib. If you want to share your component, Choose UserLib, which is located in the installation directory and is generally visible to other users at your location. Otherwise, choose PersonalLib, which is located in your project directory. The target design for this connector is a printed circuit board. From the project tree, right click 3D Components and select Insert Instance. UserLib SMA. If you save the component in either UserLib or PersonalLib, the components will appear as selections. Enter the password for authentication Selecting the Image tab displays the preview image. Specify the coordinate system to place the component in the desired location and click OK to add the connector to the PCB. Notice the logo in the upper right. Also, the connector wave port shows up in the excitations list. To add another component to this board, repeat the steps as before and specify the desired coordinate system to place the component. As mentioned before, you only have to add the simulation-ready component to the target design. All properties of the component, excitations, materials, etc., are included. The entire assembly is now ready to be analyzed. Under Analysis, right-click HFSS Setup 1 and select Analyze to run the simulation. Once the simulation is complete, the response of the entire assembly, including the 3D components, is now available for further post-processing. Here you can see an animation of the resulting 3D electromagnetic fields in the complete design. This concludes this demonstration of creating a 3D component from an existing HFSS model and adding it to a target design.